guys, this is Deraku. I have an interesting question and idea that I've been wanting to try out. I have uh, two AMD Phenom processors and I don't have a AM2 Plus or an AM3 motherboard on hand. I do have an old AMD Athlon 64X2 which runs on a AM2. I'm wondering if I can make it work on that motherboard with those two processors. And we're gonna see just what happens if we try to make it work, because in theory, the sockets do fit. It just actually has two less pins from the AM2 to the M3. So let's, let's take a look at what we got so far. So, move on over here. Yes, there's a bowl of peaches. It's pretty great. So let's get this to focus right. So what, what we got working with is a uh, Asus M2N MX SE. It's a smaller motherboard. Oh, whatever. Um. Then we got our AMD Athlon 64X2, which is the 401 plus. I'll leave all the links and stuff for it. Um, I'm probably going to use this. It's going to be super, super ghetto for this uh, Asus. Is it, uh, it's an Asus GTX 460. It has um, two six pins on it with a DVI and micro HDMI or whatever and then for the RAM we got some uh, let me take this out really fast got some uh, nice little uh, G skill DDR2 right there it's uh, pretty nice just one gig stick two of them so two uh, to uh, two gigs yeah it's pretty great okay then we got our AMD Phenom uh, to the 910 and then we got this 975 what we're gonna use that with as far as a cooler grab that it's not in the shot it's actually a cooler from a uh, AM, or actually not even an AM, it's a FM2 Plus uh, cooler, but it'll still work just fine. Same bracket and everything, so it'll be quite nice. So, it'll be a fun project. We'll see what happens, and then we'll do some benchmarks. And I still need to benchmark this thing, this beautiful beast. Call it Charizard, because Got a little Chizard, got some green fluid, red theme, got some gold in there, just like Chizard. Boom! And also I forgot to mention, I also have uh, this AMD <laughs> Radeon solid state drive, um, which is actually manufactured by OCZ. Uh, so it's just a 120, but it's good enough for benchmarking, and it's gonna fit right there for the SATA. Boom, done. Let's get started. <laughs> 